What is going on guys, it's Gospel Gamer here. It's another random game on another random Monday, and today it's This is the Police. Uh, let's start a new game. Day 1, July 15th, Monday. Is Mayor Rogers a sex maniac? Probably. City Hall confirms rumors of Jack Boyd's resignation. Mark War 2 is to be shown about that. Okay, got to work. I believe he plays the chief of police with a shitty run down car somehow. I mean, chief of police surely would have a decent car, you'd expect. When I was a kid, my father sometimes told me at bedtime that if I closed my eyes and didn't open them for a long time, all the demons would blow away. Yesterday I turned 60, but I still take his advice. Not because I'm sentimental or want to keep the memory of my father alive. I just can't think of a better solution. To get away from all the demons to haunt Freeburg, I'd need to wear a blindfold 24-7. Plus, it's a good idea to act blind when talking to reporters. At least that's what my colleagues say. They're afraid of press conferences. But for me, it's more like a confessional. No matter what lies you tell, you're privately thinking the honest answers. It helps me remember who I am. The okay. fact that I'll be reading all about it in the papers tomorrow is a small price to pay. Call it penance for the preacher. This is the first time I'm afraid of those answers my mind has given me. Not because I'm mad I'm losing my job. Though it's true, I'm mad as hell. Okay. Not because I subconsciously blame everyone else. Though I damn sure do blame them. And don't even ask me what my next move is. I can't imagine. But even that doesn't scare me. The worst thing is, I know I'm gonna have to do something. I'll be damned if I know how far I'll go. I may have a lot of vices, but predictability isn't one of them. He's a very interesting man, that's this guy. I think, maybe. I learned a long time ago how to drive away the swarming demons. But what do you do when they're trying to rip your soul from your skin? You murder them one by one. Shutting my eyes tight as I can. The best solution remains the same. Play blind. I just hope the reporters think I was blinded by the camera flash. Okay. Ah, we're playing. Good morning. They say the mayor's office officially announced your resignation. Did this come as a surprise, or did you know about it in advance? <laughs> I've been expecting this bullshit from the mayor. Uh, surprise. I thought I'd be working as policeman for another five to ten years. I just want to serve the city. I was very surprised, of course. Do you already know the name of your successor? Uh, I think it's a new man. I think that brings some new blood. A fresh mind to take a fresh look at the problem. After the recent corruption scandal, your deputy Francis Kendrick said he was looking forward to resigning. Uh, if the mayor offered him your position, would that change his mind? No way. He's made up his mind to leave. I don't see anything affecting that decision. Although Kendrick was acquitted, uh, many still believe that the police are cooperating with the Mafia. Do you have anything to say about that? No comment. I usually I prefer to answer all your questions, but in this situation I've got to say no comment. Do you think your personal relationship with the mayor could be the reason behind your retirement? Definitely not. That's just not possible. Mayor Rogers is a true professional and he makes his decisions carefully. There are, there's no place for our jobs and hard feelings or whatever he said. Thank you. Okay. How's the back today, Mr. Boyd? Same as usual. How did the press conference go? You can read about it in the newspapers tomorrow. Don't let anyone in. Even Mr. Kendrick? Especially Mr. Kendrick. Hmm. <laughs> Mr. Kendrick seems like an asshole. Big fat cigar. A 
As soon as I heard the door creak, I knew what face I'd see. When I tell Emma not to let anyone in, there's only one man it could be. Rude, arrogant, no warning. That's Mayor Rogers in a nutshell. Nice. White summer shoes, white socks, white shorts, white polo shirt, and the white smile of a hungry shark. Hey, asshole. Mayor Rogers enters every room like he owns the place. Even the floorboards under his feet sound like they're creaking an apology. He never shied away from the odd corruption scheme. It's like the devil walks behind him. In the movies, the villains controlling the city play golf with the judges. Rogers plays tennis with them instead. That's wow. about the only difference. Jack, I was hoping to catch you after the press conference. You, uh, you ran away so quick. Uh, what are you gonna do? City Hall. No reason for me to hang around. Well, this morning I signed a ban on smoking in all public buildings. Soon you won't be able to smoke here either. <laughs> Soon enough I won't be here at all. Yeah. Bitch. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. The people of this city like you, Jack. The police chief of all people. <laughs> Don't, uh, don't betray that, Jack. Don't get wrapped up in any schemes. Sit nice and quiet for the next 180 days, and, uh, and you'll be remembered as a hero. That's the only thing that you still have left. Be the hero. Then how am I okay. supposed to scrape together a retirement fund? You had a million chances to secure a luxury pension. One that even I would have envied, although I've never set aside any money for myself. I'm not planning to retire anytime soon. Right. 180 days quiet, Jack. That's all I need. I don't have any problems with you, and you won't have any problems with me. I have a new assistant, Troy Starr. If you have something to tell me, call him. But try not to bother him. He's a he's a busy man. <laughs> I'll do my best. And quit smoking up the office. One of my friends will be using it soon. Um I'm sorry, babe. Only the mayor has this number. Mr. Mayor? Yeah, is this Troy Star? Yes. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. Go fuck yourself, asshole. Helicopter department owns Villa in Italy. Okay, what's wrong with that? Cleanliness of city streets increased by 20%. Next police chief, still unknown. Let's go to work. Run, 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 run. Cops don't use the police station cafeteria anymore. There's some kind of stigma against sitting shoulder to shoulder with your partners. Everybody just takes snacks from the machines or grabs a meal and hammers it down in the corner like a vulture on a corpse. The main thing? Don't look into anyone's eyes. Could be construed as an invitation to sit together. The only people eating here are goats. How very odd. My deputy, Francis Kendrick, he recently became one of those ghosts. The subject of one of the most devastating corruption scandals in the history of Freeburg. No evidence to support the accusations, but everyone knows Kendrick's days are numbered. Fun. That file I asked for needs to be ready tonight. Francis didn't say anything, but I understood. Ghosts aren't supposed to talk. Besides, I got a feeling he was already finished. Right, okay. Cool. Gameplay. Would you like to receive tips on how this game works? I'm going to ask for them, yes. Freeburg PPD. Uh, okay. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay. Officers. Right. 
professionalism shows the overall efficiency of policemen. A figure around 150 is conceded, conceded, considered average. Any policeman who falls short, this mark is not entirely reliable. While those with professional, uh, okay. Energy, cool. Okay, so you your name's Mole. I don't trust you. Okay, here we go. A SWAT team. Let's move that fag out of the way. Cool. So, so it's cool as bread and butter police work. You'll need to send your officer to the crime scene before the timer expires. A mark on the map shows where the call came from. The farther away the destination is from the police station, the longer it takes your officers to travel back and forth. So the longer people will be tired up and unavailable. Okay, so... So what's this? Uh, easy way to determine how difficult it might be to check how many units are allowed to send. The more units you can send, the more serious uh, the alleged threat. Particularly risky, risky missions give you the option of sending SWATs, but they must be accompanied by at least one officer. The number of shots uh, slots is only one. Can, is not the only thing to steal any piece of information from the location of the crime scene to the presence of uh, weapons and so on. I can see that for a second. Uh, all this can, okay, cool. Now a couple of minutes to the convenience store or a van. I cannot run over, back over a homeless back over a homeless man. I mean, digging through a trash can. The driver jumped out to help, but once he saw that he hit a bum, he got back in the van and quickly drove away. Okay. Uh, let's send you. And we'll send you with Purdy. We'll keep our two most experienced ones still here for now. Okay, what's this? Theatre manager is so assistant detained. The drunk man attempts to force way into the theatre carrying a snowboard decorated with a word rosebud. When he was denied entry, he violently attacked the cashier and currently fighting the theatre's security guard. Okay, Yancey, you're going and you can go with Austin. Is that is in round report. When everything goes around, the police officer catch a criminal, nobody dies, but the truth is sometimes the criminal manages to escape. Just try to avoid any dead cops or civilians. Dead cops will hurt your roster and dead civilians will be the top of the mayor. Okay. Offender caught. Good. Oh, cool, they got little boosts. Officers unharmed. Great. Perfect. Do you have another one? Right. Officer, offender court, yes. Officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. Yay. Yay. Suburb. Three teenagers armed with shotgun, robbed a videotape store, and made off a whole collection of adult movies. The criminals fled in the car, but wrote down the car's last place in the ground in the suburbs. I send you, and you. Oh, that was this one. Brother and sister clash with each other over deceased father's will. Come to one of the lawyers, we don't dare separate them. Oh, fuck, I don't have anyone to send. Right, now we can send it. So, Spacky, you go Price. <laughs> fuck off, Price. I'm sort of okay if you die. Getting into the evening now. Ghetto! Passed by, saw some tea and sat there was the musician and run away carrying his guitar and money. Purdy and Austin, you're on the case. Oh god. When your cops aren't sure how to proceed, they might contact you to handle the situation. Okay. Uh, vehicle is parked right outside the police, but uh, uh, What happened then? Offender court. Officers unharmed. Perfect. Perfect. What's this report then? Oh no, offender escapes. At least the officers were unharmed. Oh, Sabaki, no! Price, you're useless! Seems to have alcohol problems. Uh, what was that? What was that little flash? 
I don't know any of their political uh, opinions. Come on. Sam's got to pop up. Assault. Defend the court. Officers unharmed. Perfect. Austin, look at you going up in the world. Boom, 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 boom. Do, 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 do. End the day. Uh, if you think you'll need a couple of extra hands tomorrow, you can order any cops to come in and work overtime. But if they're flat out, they'll be much more exhausted, so I was bound to make a mistake. Okay, can you fuck off? Uh, I'm going to order you to work tomorrow. And also you, Yancey. So both of you can work tomorrow. Oh, our Used top to dog's there. I asked Kendrick to stay late at the office. He liked to grumble and crack wise. Nowadays, he doesn't have the strength for it. Slumped shoulders, blank stare, wrinkled skin. The past few weeks, I don't hardly recognize my old friend. In his younger years, he reminded me of a gallant royal officer in an old Kipling story. Kendrick isn't just crumbling under the weight of the public pressure, but from the shame of it all. Internal Affairs raided the library he inherited from his grandfather, hoping they'd find buckets of cash stashed in the pages. Heard about the look on his face, the fearless policeman standing helpless in horror. I've known Francis for 30 years. The past 20 years, he's played loose with the law. And I know that at a certain point, every stolen dollar brings more misery than anything else. Interesting. Probably sounds crazy, but I sympathize with the guy. What can I do? Your friends are your friends, and these are the waters we swim in. Called all of the people on that list today. Now they know you're in business. So you could get a call from any of them. You don't need to worry about any. I've cleared them all. And what okay. kind of business are we talking here? It's nothing too serious. Just like you asked. Should be just a few small favors. Payments will vary depending on the situation and who okay. you're dealing with. How much are you looking to earn? Half a million. Half a million? Why not a whole million? Because everybody wants to take a million. Figured I'd try something different. Half a million in 180 days? Well, you could earn it all above board if you netted all the big fish and hit all your bonuses. True. I knew you for a fisherman. Well, you never got into my business, and I'm not trying to get into yours. But be careful about bringing in any other cops. And and one more thing, Jack. I remember what you said, but I should probably say. Chris fuck it! Fuck it! Fuck it! Fuck it! Back as far Do you know as what? Grandfather. Onward we go. To the next day. Kendrick announces retirement day. Legendary singer, blah blah blah. Construction of cinema postponed. Cool. Go. Jesus Christ, mate. You need a better car. No police officer, two side of you the last day. Oh, sometimes officer. Okay. I was up all night saying. Uh. No. Fucking idiot. Okay. I can give stripes to two people. You can have one. And you can have one. Free burgers and one of those series. This is okay. What song can we play? Let's do that one. Fine, yeah, we'll go with this one. This song here. Ooh, it's very jazzy, very lounge music-y. Let's learn to hire and fire cops. Affairs. Police station. Labour market. Okay. Give me shift B. That's now. Time to fry, fire someone. Moser. Okay. Okay. And the hen ran around. What can we fire him for? Bye. 
Okay, what we got here? We see Frank called for local cathedral this morning. The abbot discovered someone entered the old cemetery during the night. Pain with satanic symbols. Okay, well, Samadhi and Robbins can go. What's this? Uh, we have another slot for cops. And go for shift B. And you can be. Uh, I think I sh we'll go shift A with you. Only because I believe. Yeah, shift A we only have two, whereas shift B we already have three. By the way, Pricey, you're gone, bitch. You're useless. So, with you. That's better. Much better. Let's go then. Didn't know what that did. Booty, booty. What we got then? Atticus Tower. Uh, looking at him, so Tortina scratching offensive slogans in on his new car. You two can go. You're, you're fucking like. You can go. You got, we got these big three here. Stovall, Kochi, Yancey, and Vandal. They'll be fine. They'll be the ones which we use to uh, go to anything which is difficult. We've got to report on the vandalism. Let's have a look. Offender caught. Officers unharmed. Perfect. A waitress named Myla said that she served chicken at, at the, a chicken Eddie and coat to uh, to dangerous criminals she's seen on television this morning. Copper is in the window eating a burger. I send these two. Because if he is actually that dangerous, we may as well pick him up. Oh, uh, offender escape officers unharmed. Oh well. You two are useless. You're Birch and Birch Jr. Great. And Roy. Good old Roy. He's shit. Okay. Officer Wake mistaken a retired officer. Wow. What a bitch. This one. Mr. Boy, my bouncer stuffed himself with Mexican food again. Now he can't get off the can. Meanwhile, line outside stretching. Uh, Vandal. Okay, these two are now available, which is good. Oh, we got another one. An anonymous call came in a clown carrying balloons and skating rings selling crack to teenagers. Okay, Yancey, yeah, so you can go with Grant. Selling crack to teenagers, fucking hell. Sorry, Chief, but I quit. In one night, I pulled more cash than I earned a month working in the stump. Mr. Sorkin said he wouldn't, wouldn't mind taking me on. I guess I just wasn't cowed to be a cop. Okay, bye, Vandal. God, suicide threat. A naked man carrying a can of gasoline is threatening to set himself a fire in us. Oh my god. Right, Stavall and Birch. Send those two. I'd like to make sure we got an even range of what we can do. I need to actually get someone in now, don't I? Uh, shift A. Boo ba doo ba doo boo doo boo ba doo ba doo boo boo boo. That's the end of another day. Uh, police arrive at clown scene making balloons for kids. Cover up in rain, can pretend to be an illicit customer. Take the clown into the ice uh, and round up anyone that sees. Carefully watch the clown from the stands. We'll do that one. Offender caught, officers unharmed. Perfect. Boo -boo -boo -boo. What's happened here then? Offender caught, officers unharmed. Perfect again. Right. Next day. So, um, let's ask you to work tomorrow. End the day. Cool. Day four. I think we'll do one more. Enemies using fem feminist to destroy free the fucking hell. Feminist organization denied official registration. These damn feminists. Let's skip all this. Brum, 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 brum. Brum! Okay, so. 
So we've got a decent, decent few here. All of them are over 100, which is good. Let's go with you. Yeah, you can go in. Oh, that's a cool jazz tune. Uh, a racist gang has been made has, uh, has recently made some trouble in the sea. They're capturing black townspeople and beating them to death. They recently sent a message to a local radio station promising to kill all black doctors, firemen, and police. We don't need any more dead police, especially not mere months before the election. The racists are gaining more and more followers, and even some of our citizens are supporting them. You'll have to fire all your black employees over the next two days due to mounting tensions. Fuck. God fucking damn it. So if someone commits a serious crime, please see in case goes to detectives. Okay. Maris cleans the elderly man, approaches some expensive cast of carrying the iron rod. Bastards, thieves, and bloodsuckers. Okay. Um. Why won't it let me take anyone there? Oh, okay. I didn't have a I've seen him. Uh, okay. So, Mole, I'll let you go. I'll go with Armstrong. Now we can actually do this one. So, we'll go with Caddy and Subaki. Oh, fucking. Right. Oh, man, this one's fucked. Uh. Oh man. But Stavall's my best fucking guy. Oh shit. I'm gonna go on the labour market then. Fuck all. Sweet fuck all. I'll get this day done and I'll fire my black officers here. Which is only one. But Robbins is one. Okay, so there's three in total. That's not too bad, but still. Not great. Not great at all. Get Johnson over here. We got them. Uh, this one's okay. So we send Kendall and Robbins. Oh, we've got four. Let's go Yancey and Austin. First time at turn four. Okay. Texas were interview witnesses. Okay, expect the results. I drove a stand. Okay. And a few muffled shots. Okay. Okay. So, what will happen? They just slowly do it. Report. Defender court. Officers unharmed. Perfect. Look at you improving, Caddy and Subaki. Boop a doop a doop a boop a boop. The driver's nowhere to be seen. Um. My safe distance. Offender court, officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. Absolutely perfect. Perfect. Uh express consent suspicious man by focus. <laughs> A nonce. Um I'll take you, Johnson. Go there, fellas. Do your business. We're nearly there. We've been been a long day. Uh, these guys are coming back. Defender court. Officers unharmed. Perfect. Uh, oh god, takes on your cop. Toughest cop. I found it. Uh, right. Fuck. Oh. It's, uh, I want to send Robbins. i do the smart thing. I'm going to send Austin. Hopefully, we'll resign. So otherwise we can't get rid of him in the two days we need to. Homicide report. Okay. Uh, okay.
We'll go with that. Don't know if that does anything. Don't know. Not not sure what it does. Okay. Oh, we got Kevin's throat bar. Uh, oh my god. A cat fight broke out right on stage. Sending Asano and Subaki to join in. <laughs> Don't know why. Just am. How's this? Bartender has broken out. Man, probably drunk. So, okay. Well, Yancey and Caddy. Purdy and uh, Kochi haven't done anything today. Chief just about mailed with the Jeff a couple of times, but he was too fast for me and one on points. Don't really understand their rules, so I keep a track of points very well, but he was alright. He even showed me a few tricks after the match. Got carried away a little and pulled my back. Can, uh, I think I can take a day off. Yeah, sure. Damn it, you bastard! <laughs> To get rid of him, and now he's one of our better fucking officers. Shout music, turn up the lights, just going to need final blues to peak response. Uh, cold water, throw it on them. Separate them. Offender caught, officers unharmed, yay. What's your little A mean? What does that little thing mean? Hmm. Come on. Right, what happened here? Offender court. Officers unharmed. Yay. And end the day. Right. Who should we order to work tomorrow? Right, we'll go with those three. And I'm going to end the episode here. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like in the section below. And if you want to see more of this, then do subscribe to the channel as I upload every day. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.